Yeah, absolutely. This year has been uh, kind of something special. We started uh, pretty much a year ago from now. We, uh, you know, this team's really come together through since last April and uh, really worked hard together. You know, through the whole summer program, we have weightlifting training and everything like that. So this team just seems to come together on the ice and just uh, motivates guys harder than I've ever seen guys push each other. And uh, everyone's just kind of great in the locker room, too. Everyone gets along. There's no clicks or anything like that. And uh, it's a great team to come to the rink every day and uh, have fun with. You know, I think uh, it was uh, pretty exciting when we first started out the plane, but uh, I think the one thing that uh, coaching staff and all the players and the captains and seniors have really uh, emphasized is to make sure that as soon as we step inside the ring today, that it's, uh, you know, it's all business until tomorrow night. Uh, obviously, we want to you know, enjoy well, enjoy the time that we have here, um, but that was in uh, last, the first couple hours of the day. Obviously, is a little bit of a, you know exciting uh, adventure that we're here, but at the same time, uh, guys like Taylor make sure that everyone knows that we are, you know, focused, dialed in, and ready to go, and you know, have a good practice today and be uh, focused for the next 48 hours. Well, I don't know if there's as much rivalry as respect. Um, uh, certainly, look what uh, they've done in their history. Uh, very similar to Minnesota over the years. They had a lot of U.S. kids or Mass kids, and we had a lot of Minnesota kids, and and won over the years that way. And you know, Jerry got there, and and they've just been on a phenomenal run. Uh, very elite players. You know, they, they play a style where they want to, you know, recruit talented players and let them get it up and down the rink and let them play. And I think we try to do the same thing is that, you know, we try to recruit skilled players and allow those skilled players to make plays and, and uh, play, you know, pressure hockey. And uh, that's why tomorrow, you know, should be highly entertaining. You know, you, you don't play each other, you know, for years. I mean, you, you read about the names, but until a puck drops, you really don't have a great feel of, of what the opposition is like until our game really begins. I mean, you can watch tape, but then you start to identify and see how matchups go during the course of the game. Well, it, it is more an event. Uh, the first one I was at was uh, Cincinnati in 1996. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a little bit more of a, I can't say it was a traditional area, but, but uh, you know, there's probably, I don't know, 12, 14,000 people at the game. Uh, the next year at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, I think it, if I remember correctly, it was a sellout. We had great crowds, but it just seemed to kind of grow uh, from that point to uh, where it's become a real big event. Uh, you have a lot of people that, that kind of make it part of their, uh, they go every year. There's a great nucleus of probably eight or 10,000 fans almost. It seems it just kind of make it an annual event. That's their vacation. They're going to go to a frozen four. And, and as I've gone through from 1996 till now, to see some of the changes, um, how it has become bigger. I mean, we get off the plane last night and there's a band sitting on the tarmac waiting to play and, you know, those things certainly didn't take place uh, years ago. And I know last year they, they put in the red carpet event uh, coming into the rink and that went over really big. And it just has become a, a real treat for your players. Obviously, you have more media attention and everything like that, but just what the host and the community does and the arena does for it that's where i think it's really grown the, the it's always been a great experience i think for the fans but i think it's really grown as far as a player experience well the first thing we have to do is manage the puck i mean you can't turn pucks over to bc and shorten the rink for them and uh, so that's something that's going to be really important to try to get pucks behind their defensemen and you know try to make them go 200 feet um, you know, we're going to have to pick our spots, obviously, uh, from an offensive standpoint. But at the same time, I don't think we can just sit back and let them have the puck all night long because they're too talented. So, you know, we have an opportunity. we got to, we got to get on them, try to establish some offensive zone time. And, you know, don't be over-selective. Uh, I think sometimes you, you, you try to get too cute. Maybe when the goaltender's hot or a team's playing and think you have to have the perfect shot, you don't. Let's get pucks to the net. Let's see if one can go off a shin pad, one can go off a skate, or try to get to, get to some rebounds. So those are some of the things that we're going to have to do.